Thomas Tuchel could face a UEFA ban for his Real Madrid ref rage. And that might mean the German is unable to take charge of Manchester United's next European game if he gets the Old Trafford job. Tuchel was left fuming last night after Real Madrid produced a stunning late comeback to beat Bayern Munich 2-1 to reach the Champions League final where they'll face Borussia Dortmund. The former Chelsea chief is still the bookie's favourite to replace Eric Ten Hag despite Bayern Munich's failure to win a trophy for the first time since 2012. And the threat of a Euro ban is now hanging over him after he launched a post-match attack on the Polish officials after Wednesday's controversial exit. Assistant ref Tomas Liskovic raised the flag against Nusser Mazraoui when the ball was lofted into the Madrid box in stoppage time. Read more on FOOTBALLALARM Bell Laura Wood Spellingham interview goes viral after awkward TNT gaff live on air Charlie's Angel win Charlie Sloth's Mercedes G-Wagon or £100,000 alternative from just 89p as the ball was nodded down by Thomas Muller for Matthijs de Ligt to fire home, 2022 World Cup final ref Shimon Machiniak blew the whistle, ruling out the goal. Video images suggest the Bayern player was on side but the call was so tight that the flag should not have gone up so soon. Bayern players were flabbergasted, with Dutch defender De Ligt revealing both officials had apologised to him. In his post-match press conference, Tuchel said it's against every rule of modern football. Most read in Champions League TV return? Philip Schofield eyeing comeback as he jokes after dinner with Declan Donnelly shock tragedy Avicii's ex-girlfriend dies aged 34 to 6 years after death of Wake Me Up star rom contest watch Eurovision Bratz bully Israeli singer before shock probe launched time to leave Katie Price kicked out of Mucky Mansion as Shush is served with eviction notice best free bet sign up offers for UK bookmakers he did it against Alfonso Davies as well, when he could never be sure. To have the balls, the guts, to raise the flag was a huge call and the wrong call. Watch Antonio Rudiger bring back iconic Chelsea chair celebration in wild scenes after Real Madrid win versus Bayern Munich, then the referee had the chance not to whistle but took the decision to whistle. That would not have happened on the other side. UEFA's control and disciplinary body could now step in and charge Tuchel for accusing the two officials of bias against his side. A decision is likely by the start of next week, although the fact that both officials did admit to an error is likely to see Tuchel avoid any action. Even if he were to be punished, it still might not affect him next season if he takes over at United. The Red Devils are currently sitting 8th in the Premier League table and face a fight to qualify for European football via the league. But they do also have the opportunity to reach the Europa League when they take on Man City in the FA Cup final at Wembley on May 25. Meanwhile, fans joked that Tuchel had passed his Man United audition, after a number of substitutions backfired spectacularly at the Bernabeu. Bayern looked to be going through after a rocket from Alfonso Davies put him ahead with just 22 minutes to go.
Pundits' verdict on Ten Hag's future Where do the pundits stand on Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United future? Michael Owen, he has to go he cannot, simply cannot, manage this team next season. H is not good enough. Teddy Sheringham. Might stay if he wins cup but should go if United win the FA Cup, he could stay. But, for me, changes are needed and United need to get it done sooner than later. Jamie Carragher, sacked, I don't see how Eric Ten Hag stays. It's just performance after performance. Gary Neville, stay if he wins the FA Cup to sack a manager who's won two trophies in his first two seasons at the club I think would be extreme. Louis Saha, on the fence I don't see it as clearly but they need changes from the players but they need changes from him as well. Alan Shearer, sacked I believe the future of the Man United manager is already determined. Even if they win the FA Cup I think H is gone. They look to be comfortable heading towards full time and holding Madrid at bay until disaster struck. Real sub Joselu grabbed an 88th minute equaliser after latching onto a mistake from Bayern goalkeeper Manuel Neuer. Then seconds later the ex-Stoke City and Newcastle flop finished from 6 yards to win it 2-1. The 34-year-old Spaniard's introduction proved to be a masterstroke, but that was not the only substitution that proved to be a major talking point. Firstly, Tuchel brought on Kim Min Jae for attacker Leroy Sane on 76 minutes despite the South Koreans' nightmare in last week's first leg, switching to three at the back. But it was the decision to replace 44-goal top scorer Kane, who is still waiting for his first piece of silverware, with Eric Maxim Schupo motting on 86 minutes that left everyone baffled. However, Tuchel told TNT Sports afterwards that the controversial changes were due to injury. Read more son s t o r i e s k e r ching im a council house mum, but my girl, 11, gets pound 500 a month pocket money flight fight I got 1,040 pounds paid into my bank with Martin Lewis flight compensation tip he said, we started with a front four and all four has to go out with injury or cramp. Kane was having back problems, it was no longer possible. The front four all said they had to go. Quote, 